Good morning. Honourable Members, this joint sitting has been called to choose a person to hold the place in the Senate of the Commonwealth of Australia, rendered vacant by the resignation of the Senate of the Honourable Matthias Cormann, notification of which has been reported to this Parliament by His Excellency the Governor, the Honourable Kim Beasley AC. I now call for nominations to fill the vacancy. The Premier. Madam, uh, Ag Madam, Madam President. Uh, I propose that Benjamin John Small of 294 Mackey Street, Victoria Park, Western Australia, being a person who is eligible to be chosen pursuant to section 15 of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Australia as amended, be chosen to hold the vacant place in the Senate of the Parliament of the Commonwealth created by the resignation of Senator the Honourable Matthias Cormann. I advise that I have Mr Small's assurance that if chosen, he is willing to act. Premier, would you like to make some comments? Thank you, Madam President, and thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. Uh, can I start by thanking yourselves and the parliamentary staff for, raising, for arranging the joint sitting of parliament uh, here today. Uh, it's a rare pleasure for us to all sit jointly uh, with our colleagues uh, from the other place, one that I'm sure we're all enjoying. Uh, <laughs> This is just the 22nd time that the Western Australian Parliament has had a joint sitting to appoint a new senator to fill a casual vacancy. My staff assured me that's a rarity, but I thought 22 sounds like quite a lot. Um, the first one I attended uh, was to appoint Senator Ross Lightfoot uh, to a senatorial position in 1998 or thereabouts. Uh, we promise uh, that unlike um, the unpleasant business last time we met to fill a Senate vacancy, members of the Assembly will behave themselves today. This Senate vacancy has been caused by the retirement of Federal Finance Minister Matthias Cormann. Matthias has served his state in the Senate from 2007 and in the Federal Cabinet since 2013 uh, across uh, three Prime Ministers uh, during his time in Cabinet. Uh, in fact, he was the only Minister to hold the same portfolio uh, in Cabinet since, his election in two, since the election of the current government in 2013. Aside from a few spats around the border, uh, I found Matthias great to work with. Uh, a great, he had a great desire to work collaboratively to solve problems uh, and ensure uh, Western Australia kept moving forward. Uh, Matthias assisted the state government greatly uh, with funding uh, for Metronet projects around the city. Uh, and he recognised our mandate, and was a, that was an excellent example of his pragmatism. He also assisted myself and the Transport Minister greatly uh, with uh, road funding pro programs and projects both in the city uh, and all over regional WA. We worked together on the city deal, which was, I suppose, uh, his last major achievement uh, for Western Australia, and we'll see that come to fruition uh, over coming years. Uh, and can I also thank Matthias uh, for his work uh, on the campaign to get a better outcome on the goods and services tax, uh, for which we were uh, very successful. Uh, I note that uh, Matthias is currently in Europe, uh, travelling around as part of his OECD campa campaign. I see him on Facebook, uh, regularly meeting uh, with uh, heads of state and uh, important people uh, across Europe, and I understand he's going to travel around the world doing the same thing. Uh, seeking the, uh, uh, the uh, presidency of the OECD. Uh, Matthias Cormann's story is a great one. He only became a citizen of Australia 20 years ago, and he spent 13 of those years as an Australian citizen uh, serving the nation in the Senate, uh, and that's a remarkable Australian story. 
Can I wish him, and I'm sure we all do, uh, all the best in his future endeavours and all the best on his campaign uh, in the OECD and all the best uh, to his family. Uh, earlier this month, uh, the West Australian Liberal Party convened to select uh, Matthias's replacement, uh, and they have selected uh, Benjamin John Small. Uh, Ben's had a pretty full West Australian experience. Uh, he's worked and lived in regional Western Australia. He's worked in the marine sector of our state's oil and gas industry, and just advised me a moment ago for Woodside. He's vol volunteered as an ambulance driver for 10 years, and he's the co-owner of Small's Bar, a small bar uh, in Eaton. Uh, and uh, Ben, I uh, passed the legislation for small bars uh, 13 or 14 years ago under the, a former government. Uh, I didn't know anyone would take the name small bar so literally. <laughs> At just 32 years of age, uh, it's quite an achievement uh, to be selected to become uh, a senator. Uh, and in the United States, senators um, often uh, occupy their roles to their 100 years of age. So, You've got 68 years ahead of you. Uh, the Senate is an important institution uh, to the nation, uh, and I note that Ben Small has had a long interest uh, in the Senate uh, and uh, public life and the means by which uh, people are elected. Uh, we wish uh, Benjamin Small well in his future endeavours in Canberra. Uh, I'm sure he'll rise to the demands of public service well, uh, and I'm sure he'll never forget his responsibility to the great state of Western Australia. All the very best. Yeah. Members, I now give the call to the Leader of the Opposition, Mr Zach Peck. Uh, Madam President, thank you very much. Uh, I rise on behalf of the Opposition to second the nomination uh, put forward by the Premier uh, to send uh, Benjamin John Small to the Senate in the Commonwealth Parliament. It is a pleasure to join Legislative Council members uh, here today and I assure you as Assembly members we'll be out of here as quickly as possible and we'll leave, it, leave the Chamber in a relatively tidy fashion if we can. Uh, the Premier has um, I think very comprehensively gone through the history and service of uh, Senator, former Senator Matthias Cormann. And uh, from my perspective on behalf of the Liberal Party, I'd like to advise this chamber a bit more about Ben Small. Ben has had an impressive career as an, ex as an executive with a, major, uh, with a major resource industry while co-creating a highly successful small business. He has practical knowledge of both the North West Shelf and the South West region. He has an impressive record of continuous community service starting from his days in school. Ben's father was a mine manager and his mother, a very good person, Heather, who resides in my district, comes from a southwest farming family. Ben grew up in the goldfields and later in Bunbury. He graduated from Bunbury Cathedral Grammar School in 2005 with a TER of 99.75. A general merit and citizenship award from his school and the Commonwealth Australian Students Certificate of Excellence. In 2005 he was also the City of Bunbury's Young Citizen of the Year and won WA Young Citizen of the Year Active Achievement Award. In 2009 he graduated from the University of Tasmania, the Australian Maritime College with an advanced diploma in Applied Science Nautical Sciences Followed up with this in 2012 with a Bachelor of Applied Science, sorry, Bachelor of Applied Science in Marine Operations. For both degrees, he was ducks of his class with citations to the UTC Australian Maritime College Role of Excellence, winning prizes for the best overall performance and for our highest academic achievement for an undergraduate student. A qualified master mariner, Ben served from 2013 to 2017 as Chief Officer and as Operations Manager of Farstead Shipping before working with Woodside Energy Limited successively as Marine Operations Superintendent, Marine Operations Manager and as Marine Manager. He has held responsibility for the safe and reliable support of Woodside's offshore petroleum assets and marketing and export activities, heading a team of 25, 24 FTEs. Ben has worked offshore for seven years for an essential Western Australian resource industry. As the Premier said, he's been the owner of a small bar since 2017, the co-founder and joint owner of Small's Bar in Eton. That showcases local produce and employs 35 people, some of whom come from very diverse backgrounds. It has been a highly successful and innovative business. Cashless, uh, at Small's Bar, you can't provide a tip, you have to pay a tap and go as you go, and there's no tip required because 
Smalls Bar believes that it's important that ser good service is something that you already get when you go to such a fine uh, establishment such as their bar. <laughs> I think a, a number of times, I think. <laughs> ben has given back to the South West community since 2009, as the Premier said, as a volunteer ambulance driver and as a volunteer development officer with St John's Ambulance. At Australind and based out of East Bunbury more recently, with an overseas development mission as well to Timor Leso. From 2005 until 2015, Ben was a skipper, training officer, and committee member of the Bunbury Sea Rescue, playing a major role in training and fundraising for Bunbury's $600,000 primary response vessel. And from 2015 until 2017, he was the inaugural secretary for a not for profit networking organisation called the Southwest Young Professionals. For the last eight years, Ben Small has been a most active member of the Liberal Party here in Western Australia as a campaigner, as a booth captain, as a fundraiser and as a community forum president, participant. He was president of the Bunbury branch from 2015 to 2017 and president of the Forest Division since 2017. The fact that we are now nominating a 32-year-old to the Senate on behalf of the State of Western Australia gives me great honour to second the nomination by the President. It is not lost on me that as I'm a 33-year-old and I call Ben my friend, we are seeing a new generation of participants within the elected offices of the Liberal Party here in Western Australia go on to serve not only their communities but the state more broadly. I've known Ben for some time. Uh, his, his nickname uh, is Captain to me uh, because of his ex extensive uh, maritime experience but also because to all who know him, he is a good support and a good friend and someone we can always rely on to make sure that whenever there is any need or any concerns that we have, or we need any support or friendship, we can rely on him and call him our friend and our captain. He comes to us today with uh, his experience, his own uh, personal, a rich personal experience that I think reflects the South West, reflects the Liberal Party, reflects a new generation. Ben, you are my friend. I know you'll stand up for us as mates, and I know you'll stand up for the great state of Western Australia. It gives me a great pleasure to second your nomination to the Senate. Does any member wish to speak to the nomination? The Honourable Steve Thomas. Madam President, thanks for the opportunity. I, oh, do you want to go down there? Oh, yes, please, if you yeah. would stand down there. Thank you, Madam President, for the opportunity to make a few remarks on behalf of the southwest region of Western Australia, uh, the region where Benjamin John Small, or Ben as we know him, or occasionally the captain, or a few other names, uh, uh, took, took his start in life, Madam President. Uh, his, his academic record has been relived. Uh, he, what was failed to mention, he did, of course, start his life as ducks much earlier in the Adam Road Primary School region. Uh, so he showed potential through his primary school days uh, all the way through to uh, where he is today. Uh, as I said, he's moved on to the uh, Bunbury Cathedral Grammar School. He was also, I believe, Young Citizen of the Year in Bunbury for his contribution to the community and particularly in relation to the sea rescue area down in Bunbury. Uh, Madam President, it is difficult to get young people interested in politics today. It, it is a difficult process. Uh, ben Small was introduced to us in the Liberal Party in the South West recommended by a businessman uh, and adopted by a couple of the, uh, the great characters of South West Liberal Party. Uh, and, and I give particular uh, reference here to Finlay Osborne, uh, the, the champion of the Liberal Party in Bunbury, who introduced Ben to us at a time when I think I had started being the Forest Division President, a role that Ben took over after me. Uh, and he has done a magnificent job. He has learnt much in politics. He brings much to the, uh, to the political sphere, but he has been a champion for the South West. Uh, he will be a champion for Western Australia, and that's what we need in the Senate going forward. Uh, he will look after the regions because the regions are in his blood, and we will make sure that that happens, Madam President. Uh, he has volunteered his time. He cares about the community. Uh, all of the things that we might uh, say about our history, of course, it's a bit like Flight Club, Madam President. What goes on, on, on uh, long trips stays on long trips. But uh, he, he will be a champion for this state, uh, Madam President. I'm pleased that we got him involved in the Liberal Party. Uh, I'm pleased that from the South West perspective and Forest Division's perspective, uh, he will be there. Might I say that the South West would be a lovely place to have a senatorial office. Um, it, would be, it would be lovely. We'll see how we go. Uh, I thank the uh, members of the other place for turning up here, having, having risen to the occasion, Madam President, and joined us in the upper house. 
Um, I had great plans for Ben Small, Madam President. I hoped he would do a great role, perhaps even becoming a member of the Legislative Council. I guess we'll have to make do with the Senate, Ben. Does any member wish to speak to the nomination? The member for Moore. Uh, if you would please. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, thank you, Madam President. I don't want to detain members very long, but I just on behalf of the National Party wish to thank retiring Senator Matthias Cormann for his uh, work for the State of Western Australia and for the nation more broadly, uh, and also to congratulate Ben Small on his imminent, uh, imminent rather, appointment to the Senate uh, and wish him all the very best into the future and look forward to him representing Western Australia with vigour and with a certain degree of gusto. Thank you. Does any member wish to speak to the nomination? Members, are there any further nominations? There being no other nominations, I declare Benjamin John Small of 294 Mackey Street, Victoria Park, Western Australia, the person chosen to hold the place vacated by Senator the Honourable Matthias Cormann. Members, please join me in congratulating Senator-elect Benjamin Small, who is president in the President's Gallery today with his family, friends and guests. <laughs> Members, this joint sitting is now concluded.